Hi, and welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we are going to show you how to draw an evacuation floor plan with three exits. Before we begin, let's see what an evacuation plan is. An evacuation plan shows the possible evacuation routes in a building. It is color-coded and uses arrows to indicate the designated exit. Now, let's get started. Go to the File menu, New, Building Plan, and here you will see lots of plans or templates that you can readily choose from. Now, let's go to Fire and Emergency Plan and create one on our own. On the left pane, you will see the Library section, where some structures and symbols required for the plan are added by default. If you need more, go to Symbols, Predefined Libraries, where you get to choose from lots of options. I'm going to choose Building Core and People Activity Pictogram for my video. There it is. Now, let's draw the outer wall of the building. Drag and drop the room option onto the working area. Select the wall, and using the two white points shown, you can click and drag to increase or decrease the length, as well as move up and down. On the right side of the floor plan, is the formatting section where you can choose the unit, drawing scale, and change the wall thickness. You can also change the length of the side by entering the required value. Now, let's add rooms using the vertical and horizontal walls. Simply drag and drop in the required place and adjust the length per your need. Similarly, add more rooms. Now, let's add a door. Just drag and drop it on the wall, and it's automatically glued. A wonderful option. Now, let's add more rooms and complete the floor plan. Similarly, let's add doors for all the rooms. Now, let's reduce the wall thickness to increase the room space. Let's now add the exit doors. Add the primary exit door in the upper left side of the building. Now, the secondary exit, which is located in the center of the adjacent outer wall on the right side of the building. And lastly, the third exit for which we're going to add stairs. An evacuation plan always needs to have more than one exit. Now, let's add signage showing the exit types. Let's choose the emergency exit sign and show that this exit can be accessed by a person in a wheelchair. Similarly, let's do this for the other exits as well. Now, let's add fire extinguishers.
and a fire hose. And add the do not use elevator in case of fire sign on the two elevators. Now let's use figures from the people pictogram representing the restrooms. Let's now add a hazardous material sign to one of the rooms. It is important to note that exits are not located close to these rooms. The floor plan is complete, and now we have three exits, the primary, secondary, and the third. Now let's add the arrows showing the direction toward each of the exits. Once done, let's now color the boxes in the library section. Go to Wall, Shell, and Structure, and choose Space, drag and drop it on the room you want to color, and resize it. Now go to the Formatting section. Click on Solid Fill, and choose the desired color. Then go to the Home tab, select Position, and choose the Send to Back option to make the walls and door reappear. Easy, isn't it? The other way to do it is to go to Symbols, choose Pen Tool, and draw space on the room you want to color, and fill it, and choose the Send to Back option, and it's done. Similarly, color the arrows and rooms indicating the nearest exit to be accessed during an emergency. Now, let's add a safe assembly point, which is important once we have evacuated the building. We can also add text indicating which of these are primary, secondary, and tertiary exits and change to the required font. Let's now add a figure, representing the person's location on the floor. Finally, let's add the direction symbol. and our evacuation floor plan is ready. Download eDraw Max by clicking the link in the description and try it for yourself. To get the most out of eDraw Max and all of its great features, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you.